first of all we can use this formula to work out the sum of one term so the one term this s1 substitute n equal to 1 into this formula so it's 1 squared times 2 plus 3 times 1 is 5 so if the sum of the first term is 5 so we can just write the first term is equal to 5 then we find the sum first two terms so we substitute n equal to 2 so 4 times 2 plus 3 times 2 that's 14 so the sum of the first and second terms is 14 therefore the first term we know therefore the second term must be 9 then we find the sum of the first three terms so that's 9 times 2 plus 3 times 3 that's 27 so then the sum of the three terms minus the sum of the first two terms give us the third term which is 13 we can do one more if we have to so when n is 4 so the sum of the first four terms 16 times 2 which is 32 plus 4 times 3 is 12 so 32 plus 12 is 44 and 44 minus 27 so that's 17 now we can see the set pattern so basically we got multiple of 4's plus 1 so therefore the formula for the nth term mu r is 4r plus 1 now we are going to do the second part now to sum where r starts from n up to 2n is going to be equal to if we do the sum taking r from 1 up to 2n minus take r from 1 up to n minus 1 because we need n here then we just use this formula so the sum is 2n squared plus 3n so we substitute here for this part n equal to 2n so we get 2 times 2n squared plus 3 times 2n minus now we substitute n equal to minus 1 so we have 2 n minus 1 squared minus 3 times n minus 1 so this is give us 8n squared plus 6n now obviously you have to expand this bracket then times by minus 2 then give us minus 2n squared plus 4n then minus 2 Here we get minus 3n, then minus minus multiple plus is 3. So we get 8 minus 2, that's 6n squared. 6 plus 4 minus 3, that's 7n. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1, which we can factorize 6n plus 1, n plus 1. So therefore, the sum 
I'll start from n up to 2n is equal to 6n plus 1, n plus 1. 